I think now we know enough of Elixir and now it's time to write the all important hello world program. So let us get started. Let me open up my terminal and here let me create a folder by the name of functional programming with Elixir. Now let me go inside of this folder and here let me create one more directory for scripts. Now let me go inside my scripts directory and here let me create one more file by the name of hello.exs. Now Elixir has two file extensions, this .s that you can see right over here. This means that we want to create a script file and whenever we want to create a compiled file, that time we simply write as .ex. We will see more about the .ex extension when we create our first project by using the mix tool. But right now, just keep in mind that whenever we want to create a script, at that time we simply add a s. Now there are a lot of times when you need extra files. For example, you need a file to just seed your database or if you want a file just for testing, these files are not meant to go into production. They are just meant for your development. Now let me go ahead and create this file and let us open up this file inside our code editor. Now my code editor is complaining that no mix file found. So right now just ignore this. And when we create a project by using mix, it will go away. Let me collapse my sidebar. So the first thing that you should keep in mind that all of the code inside Elixir stays inside its modules. So let's create a module and for creating module, we simply have to say that we want to define a module and let us name the module as hello. And next for Elixir, we don't have curly brackets. Instead, we have the do and end blocks. So what we have done till now is we have simply defined a module and all of the code will go inside this module. As a general convention, the module name and the file name should be same. It's not required, but just as in community convention, they should be equal. For example, let me open up my sidebar. Here you can see that we have named the file as hello and we have also named the module as hello. Let me collapse my sidebar and inside of this module, let us create our first function. And you can create functions by using the keyword called as dev. And let us call our function as world. Now this function will not accept anything. So you can keep your blank parentheses or you can leave them out completely. That means this is a function which does not accept any parameter. Then again, we need to create our do and end blocks. And here we can say that from our input output, we simply want to put something to our output. And here we simply want to display the message of hello Elixir. Now always use the double quotes for defining your strings. Single quotes are meant for characters, but right now, since we want a string, that's why we have put double quotes. Now let us save this program and let us see how we can run this program. Let me adjust the screen. We can run this file in a couple of different ways. So let us see the first method. Here we can simply say that, hey Elixir, I simply want you to run the file, which is called as hello.exs. And you can see that Elixir actually ran our file, but we don't have any output. And we don't have an output because we have not called the function of world. So let us do that right over here. Let me take my terminal slightly down. And here what we can do is, here we can say that from our module of hello, I want to call the function of world. Let us save the file and now let us go to our terminal and let us try to run the same command one more time. And this time we get the output of hello Elixir. So you can use this method whenever we want to run a script file. But Elixir is actually a compiled language. So let us see how we can actually compile this file. Now again, please keep this in mind that whenever we want to have a compiled file, that time the file extension should be .ex. But right now, let me show you how we can compile and run this script. So let me clear up my terminal. And here, instead of writing Elixir, we can say that Elixir compiler by adding a C right over here. So this stands for Elixir compiler. 
so now elixir is actually going to compile this file and then it will run for us so let me open up the sidebar here you can see that we have a single file hello.exs and this one is created by our visual studio code now let us compile the file and let us see what happens so as you can see in the sidebar elixir actually compiled and we have a new file called as elixir.hello.beam now remember that elixir runs on the beam virtual machine and this is the compiled file for our elixir code but normally we don't compile and run the elixir files like this we would use the mix tool and we will learn more about the mix tool as we progress in the tutorials but right now let us go with the flow now let me collapse my sidebar we can also run this file inside our interactive shell so let me show you how we can do that let us go inside our interactive shell and let me clear up everything now here we can say that we want to compile the file of hello.exs and that's it now we are getting a warning saying that redefining module hello and that's because just a couple of seconds back we actually compiled this file and that file is currently inside our memory but right now we can simply ignore all of these things next your iex actually ran the file and here we can see we have the output of hello elixir now let me clear up the screen one more time and let us see how we can also manually call the function so here we can say that i want you to go to the module of hello and from there i want you to go to the function of world now remember that parentheses are optional inside elixir and since our function of world does not accept any parameters I can have my blank parentheses or I can simply leave them out and here you can see that we have an output of hello elixir and after this we also have a message saying as ok now ok symbolizes a data type which is called as atom we will learn more about the data types in the next video but right now let us go with the flow now again let me close my terminal and this time let us make the function accept some kind of a parameter so here we can say that we want the function of world to accept a parameter and we want to name the parameter as name next we can use our string interpolation so here let me take out elixir and here we need to put the hash sign and then we need to put the curly brackets and inside the curly brackets i can simply use our parameter of name and also let me take out this line this is not required so let us open up our terminal and we have our iex running now since we change the file let us recompile the module and we can do that by typing r now r stands for recompile and we simply want to recompile our module of hello and that's it we have redefined the module let me clear it up and here we can say that hello dot world and now let us pass a parameter called as octalium and we have the output of hello octalium now remember that the parentheses are optional so we can also write something like this let me take out the parentheses and let me give a space right between over here so as you can see this code is also valid and we get the exact same output well that's it for this video and we will see the different data types in elixir right from the next one